Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 43 on the CBEST elementary math practice test. It's a nice problem. It, it goes through a, a really core type of problem that you see on a lot of teacher certification exams on the elementary school level. So let's take a look at it and uh, work through the math. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'll read it over. You'll notice that they give you a, a scenario here in the box. You have to read that over very carefully, read the question, uh, and make sure you, you, you look at these two things very carefully before you go on and answer it. All right, so it says here, Use the information below to answer the question that follows. Then we're given the scenario, so you got to visualize it. The grocery store is located three miles away from the house. The house is located four miles away from the highway. And then it has this question. Based on the information above, which of the following conclusions can be made? And then we have these conclusions. A, the grocery store is no more than three miles away from the highway. B, the grocery store is no more than one mile away from the highway. C, the grocery store is no more than seven miles away from the highway. D, the grocery store is exactly three miles away from the highway. Or E, the grocery store is exactly four miles away from the highway. Now, before I go through ways to solve this, let's just take a moment and, and organize the information that's given in the box. That way, we can look back and we can eliminate the ones that don't make sense and really be confident with our answer choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this first sentence. It says the grocery store is located three miles away from the house. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quick uh, model drawing. I'll put the grocery store here. I'll draw a little line here and, and potentially this could be the house. And that's three miles. Okay. Then it says the house is located four miles away from the highway. So the, the highway could be located here, right? And that would be four miles. So in total, it's possible that the grocery store and the highway, in total, it's possible that that's going to be uh, seven miles from the grocery store and the highway. Or the, gross, the, high, the highway could be closer to the grocery store, which would mean it would be right here, highway. And that would be just one mile away from the grocery store, right? And that would mean the highway is potentially four, um, four miles from that, still four miles from the house, but one mile away from the grocery store, depending on what side of town the highway is. Okay, so I have this model drawing. Now I can read over these questions. The first one, the grocery store is no more than three miles away from the highway. Um... No, that one just doesn't make sense at all because it's either going to be one mile away from the highway or seven miles. So we'll cross that one off. The grocery store is no more than one mile away from the highway. That's true if the highway is located on the west side of town. But what if it's on the east side of town? Now, nope, cross that one off. The, the grocery store is no more than seven miles away. And that's the one that's the answer. It could be, it could be one mile. But it's not going to exceed seven miles based on what we have here. Our model drawing says that this one is the one that's right. And then we, these other ones here, the grocery store is exactly three miles away uh, from the highway. That's not true because we know it's, it's either going to be uh, uh, one or seven. So we cross that one off. Uh, no, not C, but this one. And then this one right here, this, the grocery store is exactly four miles from the highway only if it's on one side of the town. If it's on the other side of the town, it's, uh, or let me see, the grocery store exactly four miles from the highway. Uh, no, that one doesn't make sense either. So, so one thing with these problems is whenever you see exactly, <laughs> since, it's, since the highway can be on the west side or east side of town and potentially have two different answers, there's not gonna be an exactly. So those are dead giveaways. Right away you could you could cross out anything with the word exactly because there, because this is one of those scenarios where it's either going to, there's two possible outcomes. 
And then these ones right here, the ones that are one mile or three mile, the smaller, the smaller versions, you know, it's uh, you could probably cross those out. And you'd be looking for the one that's the largest possible range, no more than seven miles. Because that includes the possibility of it being within a one mile or the large, the longest possibility of it being seven miles. Okay? All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day, team. Bye-bye.